this place hasn't gotten a good pickup or mowing ever since we started building the off-grid outdoor kitchen. So today we need to pick up everything, get it organized, and get it mowed. While I was out feeding the pigs some food scraps this morning, I noticed that the fence wasn't working. We need to change the battery out. And look at this, overnight, look how many apples fell. I'm gonna have to pick these up again this morning. You always need to keep an eye on your animal electric fences, making sure they're holding a charge. Luckily for us, our pigs like us and they didn't leave the fence. They have plenty of food to stay content. We just always keep a battery on the charger. Swap them out when we need them. You know what we should grab? Let's get it. Gina's getting ready for the cat. Let's grab the fence tester. Pig's still on the fence. That's good. I really like this electric fence tester. It's the one that came with the Premier One fence kit we got. It's nice because you don't have to ground it out. 8,000 volts, I like that. They're not gonna like it if they touch it. Okay, you and Olivia need to go look out the window. Look out the apple, apple tree. Oh no. <laughs> I don't see nothing. You don't see all the apples? No. Do you see those? I said you had them all yesterday. <laughs> Gina had to go pick up Olivia. I guess they get out of having to pick up the apples that fell overnight. But at least these apples we can save. We know they haven't been down here for a while. Put them in five gallon pails. And then, oh, that fell right off the tree into the bucket. 
right off the right into five gallon pails and we can store them in the outdoor kitchen. And then we can get the lawn mowed. Just amazes me how many apples fall off a tree overnight. Let's try one and see if they're ripe yet. A little tart still, but they're getting there. That's gonna be a good apple once it's completely ripe. Incubator parts outside for a little while, letting the sun bleach them. So now we just gotta remember to pick this up after it dries out and bring it back in the basement. There. We need to get this place picked up so it'll look nice when we start having the hand hewn farm three day class in the end of October. three-day class also. I think we're going to be using this vein for that. We want to make sure it's inside and drying out. We're gonna keep on picking up apples. Been openly hoping In less than 24 hours we've already had a, a five gallon time. bucket load of apples fall off the darn trees. Wander, every thought that's come to mind. Stretching, 
ready to post your first blog post on the Modern Stetter blog? Yeah. How do you do it? Okay. <laughs> now we gotta go back up to the top of the page okay. and hit. Ready? You hit publish. It's your first post on the website. You excited? Okay, hit it. <gasps> oh, now, come over here to Alumna Acres. What do you think? I like it. You like it. So then they can click on this? Then they can. No, nope, they can click there or they can go here and hit continue reading. Oh. And then there's your post. Oh, Daddy, I don't like that because it's not centered. Well, that you can't pick that one. Oh. Now you're just being too fussy. Mm -mm. Mm. All right, ready to eat dinner? Yep. The chicken marsala left over was so good for dinner, we forgot to turn the camera on. Go on over to alumnaacres.com, the new website and blog for the modern steaders, and dive deeper. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.